afternoon. I hope everybody's doing okay today. I did have a request um, in the comment section of one of my videos to tell a little bit about myself, about who I am, and give my testimony. And so I wanted to make a video. I thought maybe some of y'all would be interested in that as well. So before I do that, I want to um, I want to open in prayer. Father God, I just come to you right now, Lord. I just ask you to um, to just be with me, Lord, to fill my my mouth with your words for your people today, Lord. Help me to share my heart, Lord, and my testimony with your people today, Lord. I just plead the blood of Jesus over myself, over my audience, over this video, Lord. I just thank you and praise you and love you today, Lord. I just bless your holy name, and I just I just ask that you be with each one of us, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Anyways, um, well, I'm a woman who loves the Lord. I, I really gave my heart to the Lord as a child, but I didn't, I didn't know a whole lot. I didn't know whole, a whole lot about serving the Lord growing up. When I was a senior in high school, I rededicated my life to the Lord and kind of became on a journey with him ever since, trying to just follow him and grow in him and live my life for him. And he's been so very faithful. I have two daughters, teenagers, <laughs> Lord help me. <laughs> They're great kids. I love them very much. They're the, the blessing of my life. And um, both high schoolers. And um, I'm divorced from their dad. We've been divorced for many years. And I don't want to speak a whole lot about that. That's someone else's story too, not just mine. So I think it's sufficient to just say that anybody that's been through a divorce, you know how hard that is, how difficult that is. And especially when you have children. Our children were were very small. They were they were babies whenever we divorced. So it was it was a it was a hard road. But my girls they are just such a blessing to their dad and to me, and we just are very thankful for them. Anyway, um, mostly. Uh, since I became a single mom, the Lord told me early on, because like I said, the girls were babies. Um, he, he, in prayer one night, the Holy Spirit just impressed upon me to, to do things his way. And he would so take care of me and my girls. And he has, he's been so faithful. Just like I said, they're teenagers now and they were babies then. And God has just really seen us through so much, um, just really taking care of my girls and I. It's not always been easy, um, still isn't, but God is faithful. Have I always been perfect? No. Have I messed up? Yes. But God is such a forgiving God when we repent and He's, he's just been with me. He's taken care of me. He's taken care of my girls. And I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful for the Lord. I'm so thankful that he, that he just walks with us and talks with us and, and is just a good, good father. Anyways, um, just a few, sh I, I was divorced not too very long whenever my mom was diagnosed with with cancer she lived for about three years a little over three years with with stage three and then became stage four cancer she was a, a god-fearing woman and that was hard she we all believed for her healing and for 
the Lord to heal her, and he did. She, He gave her three years, three plus years. And losing her, losing my mom in such a vulnerable time frame because, you know, having been divor divorced, it wasn't easy. My mom, she, me and her were very close. We were, we were a lot alike and she was, we, we talked about the Lord all the time. We called each other and talked about the Lord, what he was revealing to each one of us. And I miss her still very much, but I have the promise that I'll see her again because I know that she's, I know where she is and I'm thankful for having had my mom, a godly, a God-fearing mom. And anyways, um, but today I'm raising my girls and walking with the Lord, following the Lord and what a journey it has been and how faithful he has been. If you don't know him, you're missing out. He is so faithful and he is so good. Does it mean when you walk with the Lord, you won't have trying times? Absolutely not. You will have trying times, but you'll have them anyway. You might as well go with go through them with the Lord. Um, I just would encourage anybody that's watching watching my videos, if you don't know the Lord, turn to him right now. All you have to do is repent that you're that you're a sinner and that you need our Savior, Jesus Christ. Talk to him. Talk to him like you would, would talk to your very best friend because that's what he wants to be, your very best friend. Anyways, that's just a little, a little bit of my testimony. And I know that in the couple of weeks that I've been making videos, I've, I've shared some, I've shared things here and there, but I just wanted to do a video where it was more of a testimony video for you guys. So anyways, um, God is good. And just, uh, remember that you are loved by a great God great father anyways thank you for watching my videos i love you have a great day bye